Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. MGBA was just updated. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, earlier on this year, I did a tutorial of MGBA. In my opinion, it's still the best GBA emulator on PC. If you want to learn more about getting set up with it, I'll leave a link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. In that video, we were talking about version 0.9.0. There have been a few releases since then. They're currently on version 0.9.3. Now, for example, here in version 0.9.1, which came out at the end of April, there were a number of different bug fixes. Uh, some of the more important ones being fixing the GL render lagging behind when fast forwarding. So if you press the fast forward button, sometimes you get an audio video desync. They also have some save state fixes here. For example, the first event scheduling after loading a save state and also switching the speed mode when loading a save state. And if you like to use ROM hacks, specifically Pokemon ROM hacks, they have some fixes there as well. And in version 0.9.2, which came out in July, there were also a number of different bug fixes. For example, clearing VRAM on reset. For Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, if you did a hard reset, there'd sometimes be a garbage artifact on your screen, and that happens no longer. Also here, fix having to press controller buttons twice for menu items. Well, that was fixed too. And last up here, another fast forward fix. Fix bounded fast forward with enhancement OpenGL renderer. So it looks like they fixed it and then had to fix it a little bit more. Now, just the other day, version 0.9.3 was released. And in that release was a number of different bug fixes again. I wouldn't say anything overly major, but at the same time, these are all small fixes that may improve your overall experience. For example here, GB video. Render SGB border when unmasking with ATTR and PAL set. If you're not quite sure what that is, there is a handy link here to learn more details. And when checking out the link, basically what was happening before when MGBA was emulating a Super Game Boy, the borders weren't showing up, and they fixed that. It also looks like they've made even further fixes here to the fast forward feature. So it says random freezing with the OpenGL display driver, mostly when using the fast forward which had been only partially fixed in 0.9.2 should now be properly fixed. There's two other fixes here I wanna highlight. One of them is fix crash if autosave file can't be opened. So if you had autosave enabled and there was an issue with it, when you try to launch the game, it would flat out crash MGBA. The only way to fix that was to disable autosave, but that's no longer an issue. Uh, the second fix here I didn't even realize was an issue, but on RetroArch, if you try to use some Game Boy cheats, it would crash the core, and I guess that's fixed. Now, if you weren't excited from those bug fixes and you're looking for something with maybe a little bit more substance here, or you're just curious to see what the future of MGBA holds, if we take a look here, version 0.10.0 is coming out early 2022, and we have a cool option here like custom borders. Later on in 2022 here with version 1.0.0, this one is huge. It will have online multiplayer support and wireless adapter support. So the moral of the story here is to make sure you've got the latest and greatest version of MGBA. It is improved quite often and the improvements are well worth it. If you're using RetroArch, just make sure you have the latest version of the core and you should be okay. If you're using the standalone version, you can tell what version you have just at the top here. For example, this is version 0.0.90. If you don't know and if it doesn't show up for some reason, just go to File and click About, and then it should show up right here. At the end of the day here, MGBA is an amazing emulator and it continues to get better. I definitely recommend checking it out. That is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about MGBA in the comments below. Do you use it? And if you don't, what emulator do you use for GBA games? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.